All right, hey guys. This is day 17 of the 21 day course. Today we're going to begin with some advanced energy practice called bandhas. Bandhas are also translated as body locks. And what they essentially do is they help retain energy. So without giving you too much of a background on yoga, because for some people this stuff gets a little woo-woo, even for me, yoga philosophy says that we have, in addition to energy channels that I mentioned in a previous video, there's a flow of energy throughout the body. There's a down flow, there's an up flow, and there's a flow through the legs, um, I think there are five different flows. I don't actually remember them off the top of my head because uh, this gets a little bit too much into the esoteric yoga stuff that I don't necessarily uh, fully believe in. But what bandhas are meant to do is, and they do work, so maybe it is true, but they, they essentially stop this flow from happening and retain the energy in basically this area of the body, so from your head down to your abdomen, which is where you need it the most. Um, so a banda will lock it in. So today I'm going to introduce Jalandara Banda, or the neck lock. So it's very simple. Um, all we're going to do is when we inhale, when we do the inner retention, you move your neck Sorry, you move your chin down to your chest. Um, so we'll, we'll practice that later with Nadi Shodana, but let's warm up first with some natural breath awareness before we practice the, the lock. So find your seat, find your comfortable seat, keep your spine straight, shoulders relaxed, hands comfortable, and begin once again to observe your natural breath for a few moments. Tuning into that awareness. Again, this is just awareness, this is not technique. Observing the flow of air through your nostrils, hot and cool sensations, feeling how your body is accommodating the inflow of, of energy and oxygen, and what does your body need to do to absorb it and exhale waste? How does your body move? What sensations do you feel? Let's take a few rounds of yogic breathing to warm up. So inhaling abdomen, chest, clavicle, hold the inhale. Exhale, clavicle, chest, abdomen, hold the exhale. Inhale, abdomen, chest, clavicle, hold. Exhale, clavicle, chest, abdomen, hold. Inhale, abdomen, chest, clavicle, and hold. Exhale, clavicle, chest, abdomen, hold. And relax, relax the body, come back to normal. Okay, so 
Today we're going to practice once again Nadi Shodhana with inner retention, outer retention, and the neck lock. So let's do, to keep it simple, a ratio of one to one to one to one. So for a count of five. So five in, five hold, five out, five hold. The only thing we're going to, this is what we practice on day 14. The only thing we're going to add now is the neck lock during the, inhale, during the inhalation. So when we inhale, and I say inhale, hold, then you go neck lock, chin to chest. And that's it. All right, let's go. So left hand is relaxed on your knee or your thigh. Right hand, thumb, and ring finger in position, blocking the right nostril. Inhale left, two, three, four, five. Hold and lock, two, three, four, five. Exhale right, two, three, four, five. Hold, two, three, four, five. Inhale right, two, three, four, five. Hold and lock, two, three, four, five. Exhale left, two, three, four, five. Hold, two, three, four, five. Inhale left, two, three, four, five. Hold and lock, two, three, four, five. Exhale right, two, three, four, five. Hold, two, three, four, five. Inhale right, two, three, four, five. Hold and lock, two, three, four, five. Exhale left, two, three, four, five. Hold, two, three, four, five. Inhale left, two, three, four, five, hold and lock, two, three, four, five, exhale right, two, three, four, five, hold, two, three, four, five, inhale right, two, three, four, five, hold and lock, two, three, four, five, exhale left, two, three, four, five, hold, two, three, four, five, and relax. Take a normal breath in and out. So that is the yet more advanced Nadi Shodhana with inner retention, outer retention, and Jalandara Bandha, or the neck lock. With Nadi Shodhana, as I may have mentioned in the past, you want to do at least five, I like to do 10 rounds, so we just did three. So try to do at least five, uh, go for 10 rounds of that, both sides being one round. And you should know that, you should feel that it's getting more and more difficult um, as we increase the complexity. But the more difficult it is, the more you hold, the more benefits you're going to gain. And we're going to do, this is not quite the final version of Nadi Shodhana, this is the penultimate version. There will be another version we'll do in a couple days that will integrate other things and then you'll have like the complete ultimate Nodi Shadana practice that you know if you master that you're pretty legit because like I said most yoga practitioners they you've already gone farther farther than most yoga practitioners ever do with with pranayama and breath work so congratulate yourself for making it this far and I'll see you tomorrow for what are we on day 18 I think so see you tomorrow and have a great day. Hey, I hope you enjoyed today's video. I want to just take a moment to give a massive thank you to all of you that have been supporting my work by buying my book. If you haven't picked up your copy yet, the book is called Young, Successful and Miserable, A Blueprint to Getting Unstuck and Reclaiming Your Natural Freedom. Now this book is a result of a long internal process I went through myself when I felt very lost in life and my career. And it's really gonna help you clarify your why, your values, your beliefs, how you got to where you are, and where you wanna go next. 
And the bonus to buying this book is for every copy that I sell, I donate $2 US equivalent to two nonprofits for children. So you can see more information about where to get the book and about the two nonprofits that I'm working with in the description below in this video. So get yourself a copy today, help yourself, and help children in need at the same time. Thanks so much for your support, and I'll see you soon.